Well, tomorrow is the big game at the bank. Over the next couple of hours, crew's going to be pretty busy at the stadium trying to clear out all of that snow in time for the game. Yes, and hope they do. It's not nearly as bad as last weekend's <laughs> game in Buffalo, where they had to ask for volunteers to clean up more than two feet of snow. Yeah, lucky, I'd say. Yes, thankfully. All right, well, it's officially Purple Friday Playoff Edition, and the Ravens flock are excited, nervous, and bracing for cold that will consume this weekend's game. Our Stefan Dingle on your corner at MT Bank Stadium, where fans picked up some last minute gear at the team's pop up shop. Trying to stay warm tomorrow with these temperatures. We're from Southern California, so this is a change of pace for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, quite the change of pace with wind chills expected to make it feel like 10 degrees during the game. As the snow fell onto MT Bank Stadium, workers raced to clear it in the midst of the Johnny United statue ahead of a big divisional playoff game for the Ravens. <laughs> Inside the stadium at the Ravens pop-up shop, fans from all over stop by to pick up some last-minute gear, from hats to gloves and, of course, something to bundle up. We're buying some, some purple gear to keep us warm tomorrow. Specifically beanies and <laughs> scarves and <laughs> everything. everything warm. But, and for one fan who flew in from Colorado Friday, he says it's all about the layers. Base layer, fleece layer, follow-up layer, a lot of Ravens gear in between that, yeah. any lucky charms you got to bring with you, and screaming as loud as possible. Whatever it takes to guide these Ravens to victory and another step closer to the Super Bowl, these fans are ready. Let's go. We got this. Woo! <laughs> just, just remember, you got to be locked in. That's it. Go get them. And remember, Ravens flock, don't blink. We're locked in from the bank. I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ.